Today, we will learn how to create groups within your takeoffs to categorize or sort property features into any logical grouping you desire. First, click on the Edit Takeoff button. Here, you'll come across the option to Create Group. Assign a meaningful name to your group. As an example, I'm sorting all the paving-related features, and here I can select the relevant features drive lanes, driveway, pavement, and parking spot. Once selected, click Save to finalize the creation of your group. You can see your newly created group here. In the group view, all the paving features you've grouped together are visible. Switching back to the default view, you'll notice all your property features are present, just as they were before the group was created. Nothing has changed. Your takeoff remains intact you can easily toggle to the group view to see the paving features you've grouped. This method is just one way to create a group within the takeoff. Additionally, we can export these features via a shareable link. Let's have a look at how it presents in the shareable link format. Here, in the group view, you can see your group and all the categorized paving features. You also have the option to control visibility, either hiding or showing all measurements. Now, if you need to create a group that applies to all the takeoffs for your team, simply click on Settings, navigate to Takeoff, and here you'll find the option to manage groups. Click on this button, and as an example, let's consider the feature Softscapes. Choose the Softscape features such as Gravel Bed, Hedge, Lawn, and Mulch Bed. Click Save to create another group. You have the flexibility to edit or delete the group as needed. That concludes today's tutorial. Thank you.